Appreciate y'all checking in with No Flag Radio. I'm your host, Ping. Happy Sunday, good people. What up in the world? Today we talking about cops nationwide starting a white supremacist crackdown in the police? Question mark. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Fuck with my teespring. With shit like hotel pick me's only. And on to the topic. So this came out in the Washington Post, I'll say about an hour or so ago. Saying after the police was found out at the Capitol riots and they were basically all up in the fucking Capitol riots, the police, that nationwide police chiefs are going to be trying to root out police officers with ties to extremist groups. Okay, so they they mean to say white supremacist groups, okay? Or white extremist groups is what we know about this whole thing at the Capitol, right? That was who was out there, <laughs> them. And they're trying to pretend that this was something that slipped their grasp and that now it's so sad and now it's out of control in the police, but come the hell the fuck on, police. We all already know what's up. We all know what's been up with y'all, punk-ass police. Quick glance at the Plainview Project. Anybody? Shit I've been talking about in this channel for quite some time. For years, they've been exposing police on social medias with their anti-black racism, for instance, publicly. All right? Quick glance at Parlor. Yeah. Quick glance at Facebook. Yeah, so police have been on Front Street for a while with this being a refuge of employment for white supremacist gangster presence. So this whole playing dumb thing is disrespectful to the people who are paying their taxes to the police. Y'all are disrespectful as fuck police to be faking with our tax dollars like this. Let me say that. And in this article, they had the National Sheriff's Association President David Mahoney come out talking about, oh, we saw anti-government equality or anti-government anti-equality and racist comments coming out during the Obama administration. Shame on us for representing it as freedom of speech and for not recognizing it as it was chiseling away our democracy. Let me put his face up. This fucking loser. Sitting up talking that Obama shit. Stop with the Obama shit, fool. The FBI already showed a light on the white supremacist presence in the police in 2006. They put that record out. This was the same year that Mahoney became sheriff. So the data collected exposing white supremacist gangs and so forth and so on, that was already common knowledge before Obama took office in 2009. For the first time. When he first got in. So. Stop the shit. Y'all are. People who are complicit. And your police officers with the badge. Y'all been knowing what's been going on. For a long fucking time. Y'all been complicit for a long fucking time. So nobody's believing Mahoney. All this. We've been caught off guard by this. We never experienced nothing like this before. The Capitol riots is what made us know what was going on. It was the Capitol riots that made us know about the mean old white supremacist police. Man, cut the shit, man. You know what I'm He then goes on to say, oh, we need to make, uh, we need to make sure that we're teaching our staff members that they must have the courage to speak out when they know about other deputies or other officers' involvement. 
there should be no reference to the thin blue line. And it's quote. Well, that don't make no sense because police tell on police all the motherfucking time. And what happened? Retaliation. That's what happens nationwide when police tell on police. It'd be retaliation from police. So who's going to police the retaliation within the police? When they come out and feel like they're courageous and want to speak up. They get threatened and all that shit. Who's going to police that? Damn sure not David Mahoney. Mr. Mahoney. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn sure not you. Even if I felt he was being genuine about this whole thing. This whole national police outrage that he's talking about. The dude. He's retiring in May. That's right around the corner. So. Once they have a little change in the guard, it's going to be status quo all over again. I, I got to see it to believe it, Mahoney. I think this dude, he's just retiring. He's going on with whatever he's doing in life, and he just want to kind of purge his little seedy-ass, cop-ass soul on the way out as he on the way down. He want to purge his little greasy-ass heart and try to act like he's – He's basically admitting that he has been putting eradicating race soldiery on the back burner. And he's made it an afterthought his whole fucking career. That's what he's basically admitting with this shit. That's what he's doing from my vision. So, fuck him. I don't believe that the police are going to change. You know what I say? It's corporal punishment or capital punishment. If it ain't physical pain to police... To their physical bodies. They not reforming shit. And you're a real sucker Dave Mahoney. You went, out, you went out like a real bitch man. In your retired year. You went out like a real bitch. What, what do white bitches call the white males. That's, that's why white bitches had to make that term bitch boy. They call y'all bitch boys over there. On y'all side of the world. You went out like a bitch boy dog. <laughs> How white people call you. You, know, you went out like a bitch boy dude. But, yo, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Fuck with shit like that. You know what I mean? And fuck with the hotel pick me's only. That's what we doing, baby. Hotel pick me's only. Let's get it going. This the year. This y'all year, baby. Straight real. I'm going to get it, y'all.